welcome back to watch time everybody i'm just making a bit of a quick video today um i have made videos like this in the past where i've talked about replica or fake watches um this is a watch that's been sort of presented to me today and i've been asked is it genuine or fake uh well as we all know these fakes are getting really good um this one is a fake as the title will suggest but it's a very very good fake it's hefty it has a fairly accurate bracelet one of the ways i could tell that it was off was the the font isn't correct on the uh on the clasp at all um but they have went to quite a length to get you know to fake the uh, serial number to fake the usual stuff you would see on the clasp but the font just isn't right and it's not engraved or embossed or debossed whatever you want to call it properly the if you look at the back of the case as well obviously this one's a bit dirty because someone's wore it but the stainless steel isn't isn't exactly correct as well the this section here just isn't quite of the Rolex level of quality. If you can see that there, it's got, you can see the, the markings in it as well. So it's not, that's not correct. Um, the biggest giveaway is that the, even though the screw, the pushes are screwed down as a Daytona would be, they don't actually do anything when you press them. So the chronograph hand constantly sweeps. The sub dials, probably as far as i can tell don't actually move um but it is a hefty stainless steel case it is a good quality crystal i don't know what type of crystal it is it looks it does look and feel genuine to the untrained eye so this video is really about making sure everybody is very very careful get these things authenticated if you have to pay a price to make sure that they're accurate do it it's worth it um these fakes are getting good and i know a lot of people watching this video will be able to see very quickly that this isn't genuine but you've got to remember a lot of the audience especially the rolex audience are people who just want a nice watch they're not necessarily experts so that's what this video is about everyone be very very careful it has the screw down crown it has a semi-correct clasp it has signed clasp and let's be honest like the older day toners the quality difference wouldn't have been that different here the bracelets weren't as good as they are now you could you could get away with it so this is it's the right way around fake day toner be very careful everybody um i will see you next time please let me know if you have any comments or anything to add